Hey guys, I'm gonna take y'all on a tour of my mushroom shipping container farm today. Right here, we've got my break room. I've got a container of water, purified water right here. Go to Publix, get your container, fill it up. Uh, you know, my coffee maker, microwave, different stuff like that. And then, you know, your toolbox. So if you're like me and you build everything uh, yourself, get you a toolbox or you're just probably going to throw it in a Rubbermaid tote and then you're not going to be able to find anything and then you're going to be like it's just going to be bad so don't do it that was $200 uh, I mean if you can do it do it but if you can't I mean just suffer through it I guess uh, so that was a nice sink I love having a running water at my farm I didn't for the longest time I can actually come up here do that knob and wash my hands like the weirdest thing ever so convenient to be able to wash your dishes and not have to take them across the road or something you know god almighty i love that sink um so this is my bagger yeah i built that myself uh, i've got videos on that and stuff eric myers you know bagger valve and everything else um that's way too much for this video as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of pellets in there. So yeah, bagger. When we come over here, this is my table. For uh, after all the bags get bagged up, let them hydrate right here. You fold them up, place them inside of these barrels. Rusty. Uh, sorry about that. So anyways, um, yeah, so that's my boiler. I've got a PEX drain line uh, going on the back side of these and, uh, you know, plug in element. I don't have a PID right now, uh, so I just plug it in for 20 hours. I'm gonna get this set up on a steam line so I can vent out the rest of the steam. I turn this sucker on and, well, God almighty, if I didn't have the whole walls condensating in here because of steam, it was uh, it was beautiful. It was it was really amazing. But it would have molded everything, so I couldn't let it stay like that. So I'm gonna have to chase that steam outside. Uh, so right here is my uh, incubation. Uh, so right now I'm just keeping it on a uh, oil radiator heater, and I'm using this old temperature reader. You know, keep it up at 70 degrees. But uh. I did all these yesterday by myself. I don't know, it was like two barrels full. Tell me how many bags that y'all have inoculated by yourself. I would really like to know in one day. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's have some competition. Let's see how many bags we can inoculate by ourselves. I'll, uh, I'll send you a whole bunch of LC lids to the winner. How about that? Y'all like that? Um, hey, y'all gotta prove it now, you can't lie. So, right now I'm using a 10 inch by 10 inch HEPA filter, you know, flow hood, whatever. Positive pressure unit is what that was, but now it's a flow hood. Uh, cause this thing's ripped. So, useless, throw it in the dumpster. Um, yeah. So, that's what I'm doing right now, until I get my filters in. And, yeah, that's my lab. So, I'm gonna hook this little baby up, ultraviolet thing, you know. Put it right there. Add a little extra, little extra pizzazz to it. Uh, got the tapestry, you know. Nice little make-believe window. Pressure cookers. <sighs> Welcome to my mushroom crib. <laughs>